you know what, guys? Let me let me rip the bandaid bandaid off and uh, open with this, okay? Because oh god, the troll comments, <laughs> I swear. And the guy's not in there now, but um, you know, when I set up, I I usually try to set up these streams like you know, usually a few hours, quite a few hours, maybe six hours or something like that before I go. So I, that way it gives everybody a chance. And sure enough, I saw some guy in there and he dropped like four, four different comments, um, stating that I was mad that Halloween ends and kills didn't make as much as scream five and saying, why are you comparing, uh, these two movies? Like what's wrong with that? And why don't you just wait until the movies come out and review them? You don't need to be doing this. And I'm just like, first off, uh, uh, fuck you. Uh, second off, it's it's my channel. I'll talk about whatever the hell I want to. And uh, that's my right. That's fine. But that's the mean stuff out of the way, okay? And I mean that with all of my freaking bloody heart, okay? Yeah. But third thing, seriously, though. Um... I don't want to ever come across as if I think my opinion, because that's what it is, guys, at the end of the day. It's an opinion. And, and I don't want to ever come across as if my opinion is is more valuable than any of yours. Um, We're all different. And, and guys, this is stuff that you've heard a million times from other people before, but I just don't want anybody to ever think um, that if I post a lot on like Twitter or uh, even if I make a video where I seem passionate, and by the way, what's wrong with passion, right? Um, at the end of the day, we all are fans of a franchise. Uh, we all have that one friend, like right now in the, in the chat, let me know that franchise that has your heart, you know? Let me know that franchise that is just your number one and nothing will ever top that franchise for you. And, I just I just want to know what you guys all right here we go Chris Snyder Saw Halloween uh, Saw Nightmare on Elm Street Scream Scream Halloween Friday the 13th and guys I love that I freaking love that I would never ever try to take that away from you I why would like Brandon he loves Scream and Psycho why would I ever try to get Brandon to drop Scream and Psycho for Halloween that's stupid if you, if you think about it that's never my goal really the, at the end of the day when i'm talking about not just halloween but any movie i'm just giving you my personal opinion but also it's just a you know um how that movie affects me on a personal level you know and we all have different opinions and uh the reason I'm saying this again is because I don't want to ever come across like I'm being a snob or like I'm being stuck up or that, you know, somehow I think I my opinion outweighs your opinion because it doesn't. It doesn't. OK. And as a matter of fact, I absolutely love that we all have our own um, passions. And guys, there's nothing wrong with getting passionate about um, <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> Oh, God. Aaron Click, guys. Uh, there's nothing wrong with getting passionate about whatever movie. Like, Chris is a big Saw fan. I love that he's passionate about Saw. You know? Obviously, uh, there's something in that franchise that touches him in maybe a way that it doesn't touch me. You know? And, and uh, it could be... It's like that, that Halloween 4 story that I've told you guys a million times. Chris might have saw no pun intended a saw movie at a very impressionable young age and it just hit him it just clicked we all we all have that moment where horror just really um touched us you know and, and uh we we are changed people guys give me and this might be different than your favorite franchise okay give me the movie and it doesn't have to be horror give me the movie that uh changed your life Okay, give me the movie that changed your life. I say touch too much, I know. <laughs> give me the movie that changed your life, okay? Could be any movie. Could be Shawshank Redemption, you know? Give me the movie that when you saw it, it was like a shift, you know? Something changed for you. Like Destiny, she says Jaws. Oh, my God, that's a big one for me, too, for my, from my childhood. I remember watching Jaws, and it might be one of my first scares when... Um, 
Hooper and, uh, and, and Brody, they're on the boat, and then they go down in the water, and they see the, the boat underwater, the wreckage, and that that head floats by. And man, I I must have been I don't want I want to say six years old, but man, that literally scared the living shit out of me. Um, it was just I mean I, my heart literally like jumped. It was it was crazy. But almost famous, uh, Back to the Future, The Dark Knight, um, Adventures in Babysitting. Halloween, Halloween four specifically, the ending. Never been more terrified as a child. Oh my god! Yeah, exactly. Halloween four. Well, there's a couple of movies that affected me in different ways. Halloween four was the one that uh, obsessed me with the franchise because I didn't know, um, I didn't know a horror movie could one scare me like that, but two had me so invested. Like I was so invested with Rachel and Jamie Lloyd and their journey throughout that movie. I mean, I I was just guys locked in i was so locked in that i didn't even notice the silly looking mask you know michael was terrifying to me in that movie uh another movie for me was the first crow um it made me look like it made me take filmmaking more seriously you know i was probably 20 21 yeah i was 21 when i saw the crow in the theater and um never seen anything like it um and after that it really um forced me to take an interest in uh, films and filmmaking and how they are put together and what you know what that secret formula is to cause some kind of emotion reaction whatever the crow did that for me big time big time so i I, you know i don't know i lost my point but my point is i love movies so much and I love that you love movies so much. And I would never, ever try to take any of that away from you guys. You know, I do get some um, viewers that they get mad at me. They do. They do get really, really angry with me because I am passionate. I, I think that's what it is. If I, if I came on here and I was just like, I like this movie, you know, and it, and here's the pros. I thought the, the, the filmmaking was very nice. I liked the cinematography. It was beautiful. I thought the acting was really great, you know. Um, the music was nice, but, you know, if if I did that, then it wouldn't be, there would be no passion in it, and, and I can't help that. When I talk about any movie, that just comes out, and sometimes I'm angry because that movie affected me, me that way. It made me, it might have made me angry, you know, that's going to happen. And all I can do is be honest with you guys. That's all I can do. I'm not going to hold back. By the way, guys, and I didn't know this when I did it, but Megan, I, after I watch a new release, I sit down and I have to go on Rotten Tomatoes and I have to log my, my either fresh or rotten. And 99.9% of the time, it's easy fresh rotten i you know it's automatic i know exactly the rating i want to give the movie megan was the first movie that i i was like fret wait hold on hold on just a second do is this movie really like do i really have to and i i it, it was just right on the line it was right on the line and, and it could have been like you know um just a, a, fr- a fraction of the left or the right of my rating would have kicked it to uh, fresh or rotten. I didn't. I didn't, So I just, it was kind of a knee jerk reaction, but I was just like, you know what? I'm going to go rotten uh, and I'll, I'll be able to sleep at night and I'll live on myself. But you know, they let you put like a numerical on there. And I believe I put six out of 10, six out of 10. Okay. And I believe, I think anything above six out of 10, you can I think you can just give it a fresh if you want to anyway. I don't know. But little did I know, later I find out that I am one of two rotten reviews for uh, Megan um, out of, I want to, at the time, maybe 70 reviews. And I was like, oh, wow. I didn't know that. uh, (laughs) I thought at least a couple more people would have given it a rotten just because, you know, my opinion of the movie. But yeah, (laughs) 